This week's episode is about honesty. It's about telling the truth. So I'm going to start to show off a little bit of honesty. I'm going to be honest with you right now. Why the hat? Why the big floppy goofy hat? I've got a crater of a zit that's like welting out of my head and I'm trying to cover it up. Yeah, I got a little vanity. There's a little vanity going on there. Because it is a wicked son of a gun. Like, I'm getting headaches from this thing. Can we call Brad Pitt's dermatologist? Because he got his whole thing sorted out. Tonight on Pwned. Guys, what are you doing? Hoopa Stinks, Doug Rob goes postal. That's a federal uh, no, offense. Uh, close it up. Just forget it ever happened. Neo finds himself at the scene of the crime. I don't know how the bag got there. I don't know what is going on right now. I don't. In Laguna Beaches, Stephen Coletti takes a fall. <laughs> it's all next on Punk. Where I come from, you respect the mailman. You appreciate him. You're friends with the man who shows up in the little white Jeep with the driver's wheel on the wrong side. He's your buddy. He's the guy that delivers you the Victoria's Secret catalog. I had a personal relationship with mine. Dave was a good guy. I got him cookies and schnapps for Christmas. Booba Stank, a bunch of young kids, band guys out here in Hollywood, screwing around, jacking off. No respect for this guy, no respect for the male. We're gonna teach Hooba Stank a little something about appreciating the male. What's gonna happen is Doug Robb is the mark. His buddy's gonna drop his keys in the mailbox. We're gonna try to fetch him out, and in the process, we're gonna have a mailman show up and issue them a little federal offense. Oopsie daisy. The accomplice is Daniel. Joe Hersley's playing the postman. Scott and Rory are playing the police officers. And it's time that Hooba Stank learns a lesson. If you don't respect the male, you don't respect the punked. Dude, Dude I dropped my keys. Are you serious? In there, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. I was doing the double thing and I was getting my phone, my phone was text messaging and it just fell right in, dude. His mailbox number on it. Tell him we can't that. get this thing open anyways or anything on the bottom. Oh, yeah. Can you open it? Can you open it? It's almost open. This is a crime, you know. What? This is a crime, you know. <laughs> Guys, what are you doing? He dropped I dropped my keys in here. In here. Okay, I, I, put that down. All right, I'm not Put that mail. down. Don't worry, bro. That's federal man. property. I, 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 dude, I, I just dropped my keys in here, and I'm, this thing was cocked it's, open, it's so open. we're just trying to get it out. Tampering with the mailbox is a federal offense. I saw your hand in the mailbox. Right. Okay, nothing goes in this uh, a receptacle other dude, than mail. I, I understand. I'm not trying to, like, rip anything off. All, all you would have to say is, hey, let's wait till 4.30. Yeah, dude, but it's... No, okay. That's, that's, yeah, that's another... What do the keys mailbox? look like? They're black. It's I'm kidding. Oh. <laughs> well, they do. They should be right there. I dropped them in my <laughs> mail. Excuse me. This is express mail. These are express packages. These, those aren't express packages. Well, I, dude, I just see a mailbox, so I go and I put my mail in a mailbox. I don't know the rules to mailbox. Do you know how to read? You said you dropped I keys dropped, in the mailbox. There's no keys. I, I saw your hand in the box. You're the one ripping out. And then you had this package in your hand. What, what, what would you like it to be now? Uh, how did you get this open? It was jacked open like that. Dude, where are your keys? I don't know, dude. I stay fucking... right here. Should we just go? No, dude, that freak. Stay right there. This guy's been a, like some guy who takes his job way too seriously, so we'll just like, we'll tell the cop that look, dude. I'm sorry. No, they didn't take mail. I come up and this guy has this package in his hand. And, and he says he drops his keys, but uh, there's no know, keys in there. Hey. I was here at 2.15, and this wasn't yeah, like yeah. this, and they said it was just open. And this package, well, this it was, is it was open a little bit, so yeah, that's guys, why... It could have yeah. probably been easy to uh, contact, so that's a, that's a uh, total no, offense. Absolutely. And just so you guys know where we're at, 
Well, did he you, did, did say you, that. Did you contact the postal inspectors? No, sir. Officer, it's over 154. I know we got a problem here. Lock your hands behind your head. Behind your head. Sir, should I call the postal inspector? Yeah, get the postal inspector rolling. Well, so I, I make that clear. I've never seen that in my life. I, you know, I Hold on real quick. You've never seen this in your life? I pull up and both of you looked like you had this package in your hand. Was it not in your hand? Dude, I never touched that thing once. You didn't touch this thing? No. So you're calling me a liar? Okay. Yes. You guys know that you can't break in or open up look, the mailbox. I, look, I understand it. Honest to God, officer, th this door was unlocked. It was just like this. And it didn't take prying or anything. And I went like that, and it popped open. So yes, on a bad judgment, I was thinking the keys were going to be right on top. Right. I'm going to grab them, close it up, just forget it ever happened. I want to tell you something right now. This is a badge also. OK, we, we work together on this. And I, how many times I've pulled up and there's been sodas, there's been feces in here? And right. I've got to clean that stuff up. I take it very serious when a foreign object is placed in a federal receptacle. Supreme so Court. I'm Supreme Court. No return address. And you guys aren't saying that this is yours? Well, it's not mine, so I don't know what you guys want to do. What it's about cool. your friends? It's not his. Well, what does it look me. like, though? Going to Washington with no return it address up. and it's in your hands? Okay, th then do me a favor. You open the box. You want me to open the box? Yeah, in, in, yeah. in front of him. Open the box. That way they don't, they don't... What does that prove? It's not my box. It's your box. It's not, not a federal offense to, to open up your own. We, we want to see what you left in the mailbox. It's not my mail. It's right there. Whatever's in there, you're liable. How's that possible? What's that? You just got out. Are you kidding me? Hold that up. <laughs> so I actually believed him. I'm like, you know what? It could be possible. I just got popped. We felt like we haven't gone big in a while. Big, big. So we decide we're going to do a bit with a ransom drop. What would you do if you're walking through a parking lot and you find a bag full of cash? Do you take it? Or do you leave it? So we got Neo, N-E-Y-O, Neo. We have helicopter, a SWAT team, a squadron of police officers, and a woman crying. Neo thinks he's going out for a good time with his boy Tengo, our accomplice. That's when they're gonna come across a bag full of cash. Joe Hursley's playing the sketchy man. Joanna's playing the mom. We have a cop, Scott, and the lead cop is Gerard. Our feature presentation tonight is a very exciting action film starring Neo. I give it two thumbs up. Neo gives it one. That's my bag. That bag right there, that's my bag. Huh? That's my bag, man. It's not your bag. That is my bag. Give me that. I'm not gonna ask again, man. Give me that bag. Give me that bag, homeboy. That's my bag. Put it down right now. Put that bag down right now. Stand still. Stand still. Everybody stand still. Don't you move. Step away from the back. You move. Step away from the back. Step away from the back. Step away from the back. Look them up. Get over here. Stand right here. Step over there. Come no. over here and stand still. Just some hands. What's going on? Need some idea on you? Uh, uh, Keep your hands on that Where is it? Where's your idea? Do not move. Do you have any guns on you? Anything at all? No, Nothing at all. Nothing sharp in your pockets. Where are you from? Las Vegas. We're in Las Vegas. No side of Las Vegas. All right, I'm gonna get an FI on him. Right ahead. You think we're playing out here, man? You know, I have no idea why we're here. Oh, whose bag is that? I don't know. We huh? pulled up and it was sitting next to the dump. So Where, where's the kid at? What kid? Where's the kid at? That's what we're talking about right now. You know, that's a good question. I have no clue, man. Do I look brand new to you? I don't know what you're talking about. We just pulled up. We're going to talk to a dude about doing a walkthrough. For you come up from Las Vegas, you end up here down an alley right by the bag, and you tell me you don't know what's going on I'm here. I'm from Las Vegas, but I live out here now. You live out here. Where out here? 
I live in Palmdale. You live in Palmdale, but you come down here to Hollywood. All I know is that there's a bag of money here, and I want to know where the kid's at. I don't know nothing about no kid. Dude, where's the kid at? I'm not kidding you. Partner, go, if you want to go run that, I'll take it. I'll take it. You want to talk to me. Okay. My partner does not like you. This is why I need you to tell me the truth. What are you doing here? What's this North Hollywood address? What's this right here? Uh oh. No, Hollywood, that's where I used to live. I live in Palmdale now. Keep your hands out. Please, work with me. Take your hat off. Yeah, just go ahead and rest that right there on the. All right. Tell me exactly what you're doing here. Okay, I'm a singer. I'm a singer. You're an R&B yeah. singer. Yeah. Okay. We just left a party over there. We were coming over here to talk to a guy by doing a walkthrough at his club. And after that, we go to another party that I'm doing at Hollywood and Highland. Y'all doing a lot of partying tonight. Yeah. Just about all the parties. I don't see any flyers. This was in your boy's, boy's pocket right now. That's a party. First, you give me some bull about the fact you come in here from Las Vegas, you live in Palmdale, and you get a North Hollywood address. address. don't match. When's the last time you've been arrested? I'll give you a chance to tell me what happened here, and then you're going to get hooked up, and then you're going to get put in that truck and taken out of here. I, I just told you what happened. I don't know what else happened. You think those cops were propelled off of this building? You think they just got there when you got here? You hear the helicopter? We've been here all day. We've been here all day. That's why I need you to help me. If I could, there, I there, would. There, there, there ain't a thing about this club thing going on. This part says he came down here to eat down here tonight. Don't oh, now we got any clubs. And he doesn't Come on, know man, where. I'm trying to help you. You're his, telling his, lie, his, after his, lie after lie after lie. Hey, I'm done with the line. Get him out of here. Him, hook him up, take him to Hollywood right now. James. A child was I'm gonna kidnapped. I'm going to need him in the rear car now. I need now. you to help me. I'm not the guy. How does it look? How does this look? You know what? Honestly, it looks pretty bad. It looks pretty, it looks, it looks pretty, pretty bad. bad. I don't know nothing about no kid. I don't know nothing about nothing, man. We came over here to talk to a dude about doing a walkthrough at a club. That's it. I don't know, I don't know how the bag got there. I don't know what is going on right now. I don't. I'm sorry. I don't know anything about anything. Right. I told you why we're here. Yeah. I told you why I'm here. I have no reason to lie to you about nothing. Bring the girl up here. Bring her up. What girl? Hold her there. Step over here. Keep your arms down by your side. You don't move. He's the guy. He's the guy. Where's my kid? Where's my kid? Where's my kid? Where's my kid? It's been three days. I need my kid. I want my kid. Yeah, I don't know where your kid is. I, I, my heart goes out to you, really. I don't know anything about you. I don't. I'm sorry. I just want my kid back. Please, I just want my kid back. Take her back in the car. Please, no, I just want my kid back. Take her back in the car. I just want my kid back. Take her back in the car. So the intention here is, here, 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 here's the deal. If you don't talk to us, if you don't tell us what's going on, and maybe your manager, listen, maybe your manager has something going on that you don't know about. I don't know. Right. I don't know. Right. Look get up, out of the car. Look, look, up, look, look up at that helicopter right I, now. I look at it. Helicopter. Look at it. Wave, wave to it right now. Because you just been punked. You just been punked. <laughs> look at it. Wave at the helicopter. Get the <laughs> Come on, man. My name is Neo, and I've just been pumped. Back in the old west, if someone was checking out your girl, you would put the whoop down on her. Nowadays, these guys are like shooting naked videos of their girls and posting them on the freaking internet. Guys have no respect for their women these days. I'm gonna teach Stephen Coletti a little something about respect. Stephen Coletti, he plays Stephen Coletti on Laguna Beach. I'm not buying him as his character. Meanwhile, this guy's gonna roll into a tanning bed, let his girlfriend go in the thing and get peeped on, and do absolutely nothing about it. If some guy's peeping on your girl, take him out. Mark will be playing the salon manager, Joe and Adam will be playing the construction workers, and Joanna will be playing the other angry customer. You gotta respect your girl. Hand me the pliers. Should be about 10 minutes, all right? It's like, I want to flip it over and I just want to pound it home once, you know? This, this is the type of thing that you would only see in that magazine. Yeah. Holy <laughs> she is just... <laughs> wow. Talk about filling a hole. She's <laughs> really wide open. Yeah, she is wide open. Hey, man, I got to get a picture of this. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Oh, yeah. That's what we got to do. You getting this? I'm really getting some good shots, dude. This is definitely it.
fuck? Excuse me. Did you see where the manager went? No. No. no just Do you have somebody who's like here? Yeah, she's in there. Yeah, there's like guys in here taking pictures. What do you mean? They've got like cameras. It's like creeping me out. What are you doing, you guys? Nothing. What's going on? Why did you have a camera in there? None of your business. What do you mean it's none of my business? We're, You're do like taking we're, we're doing a job. I walk by and I see you guys like hunching over in here, taking pictures in through the hole. Why would you have a camera there? Well, it doesn't matter what we're taking pictures of. We're recording our work. Why don't you go tan on? Okay, we're doing our I'm work. Not, I'm not tanning. I'm just here. Oh, I'm you're not tanning. friend that's in here. So. Okay. I'm just wondering, what is going on? See? No idea. Are you taking pictures of this? What? Are we like taking pictures of this? I'm not taking pictures. Can you see them? See them? This is are all, you uh, taking pictures of me? No. Are you serious? I'm not taking pictures of me. What exactly are you guys doing? Did he take pictures? We're running conduit. Are you, are you serious what? right Conduit. Now? Adam was taking pictures no. of his Lighting work picture. before and after. We have to record this for our boss. You're sick. He was not taking You're pictures. You're sick. Are you, are you kidding me? Uh, I'm not taking pictures. <laughs> Adam, I'm gonna go get the manager. Hey, what? Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Get your hand off me, okay? Don't, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Get, get out of my way. You, Adam, are you all right? I don't think so. Why would this lady just stress out? Why don't you apologize to him? Apologize to him? You're taking pictures of, of him. our work. Oh, of our work. Of our work. Before and after did pictures. Did you take pictures of, of did you, did girls you, undressing? Hold on, hold on. Did you see them taking pictures through the wall? I don't know. You guys said that, that they were taking pictures. I'm the manager. What's the deal here, guys? What's going on? She is saying that we were taking pictures of her undressing. I saw like four flashes of, above, and I didn't, I didn't think anything okay. of it. And then I okay, wait. Out. Did you take a picture of her? No, I did not take. Don't flatter yourself, girl. Hey, Magnum P.I., you need to calm down. You're the one instigating all this. I'm just trying to figure out what was going on here. I don't understand. What happened? Why are you guys taking pictures of your work? Why don't you think for a second? Insurance purposes. Why are you showing the pictures then? I don't have to show you the pictures. Just whatever. Show me the pictures. There's nothing on there. All right, he needs a hospital. We're going to start talking law soon in a minute here if I don't get some answers, okay? Whoa, wait, why? I, I, okay, look, because one of my electricians is injured, okay? Go get the camera. Go get the camera. I got the camera. I'm going to show us the pictures. Because I don't have to. It's my camera. I did nothing wrong here. You came in and accused me of staring. I'm sorry, but you are, what, 16, 15? I mean, I'm 30 years old. I'm not a sicko. I live across from an elementary school. I get that card enough, okay? Look at this. Wow, look at this. Crossbeam. Wow, wire box. That's hot. Oh, look at that sky beam. Yeah, you need to lose the attitude, serious. Oh, okay, look at that. That's conduit, wires. Wow, is that the hole I was looking into? I thought you guys saw the pictures. I don't, she came up, said, she, I don't know. She, I'm okay. just trying to figure out exactly what's going on. Okay, look, here's the deal. There's no pictures of her on the camera, okay? So right now, you guys are at fault. So what's wrong with you? Do you feel like you're like, can you breathe all right? When I breathe in real deep, it feels like something's poking so in there. Is it bruised? I don't know, man. Ow. Hey, what are you gonna do to make this better, man? I don't know. I'm sorry. She just did. Because I. Hey, chill. Hey, relax, relax. Oh, it's okay for her to attack my main guy here? We, she knows what's going on. Though. First of all, she had one girl coming in saying that these guys are taking pictures, and then she's sitting there naked. What's she supposed to expect? Okay, so Red Sonia comes in and takes, you know, and pushes and causes havoc. Can you understand? This is obviously a misunderstanding here. She hey, just thought she was. Listen. Misunderstandings are one thing. Having Barbie doll and Ken yell at me and ha Whoa. injuring one of my... Whoa, Don't. As of right now, you're responsible. I'm responsible for what? You guys as a couple are responsible for this whole situation. I need to know your guys' background. You got punk! You got punk! <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> ah! You got fun! That was good, that was good. That was a good one. I got pumped.